Lust Island Transfers Incoming Ark Survival Evolved Trending And a new look at an old map you right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, the community crunch drops last night, revealing pretty much everything we've already covered. From, of course, the Lost Island transfer we talked about, I think, last weekend. Just a reminder, it is dropping on March the 18th. Not a long time to go until the maps are all connected. All the other maps can now transfer transfer their items and creatures over to Last Island and vice versa, meaning you can take stuff off it if you want, and also meaning you will need to be defended as much as you possibly can on official servers, of course, because the tech boys are coming. Watch out. It's going off. The community crunch highlighted the event cosmetics we talked about in depth in our previous news video. If you haven't watched that, I'll leave a link in the description. But yes, to pretty much sum up, the HLNA store on Genesis Part 1 and 2 that you can access to buy a bunch of cool resources or items now possesses cosmetics from the Love Evolved event and will include other events as we look forward towards the end of the year with more stuff to talk about within that statement but again that's in that news video you've got an evo event oh lucky you a bit of two times unofficial 4.5 times on small tribes five on arc puck and six times on classic not a big jump from what it originally was but it's still an evo event nonetheless a bit of multiplier on top to help all of those progressions get a bit quicker than they normally do. Nothing else to really cover there. I was hoping we might get some new details on the new creatures as was promised, but it isn't this weekend. So fingers crossed we are going to see something on either the Desmodus Draculae, the Fjord Hawk, or the Andrew Sarkas next weekend. Ark Survival Evolved was trending. What, hey, why, who knows? Said community manager put out on Twitter. I think this was yesterday. It wasn't, it was the day before, but it did roll into yesterday that hashtag Ark Survival Evolved was a trending topic throughout Twitter. Nobody knows why though, not the devs themselves, not the players. My guess is it's because of its PlayStation Plus inclusion and obviously more people playing it, especially as we get into the weekend. That's probably the reason why it's a bigger trending topic, but it just seems a bit bizarre. Any hashtag mentioning this doesn't really allude to anything new. It's just people discussing the game, which is kind of cool to see really when you think about it. Ark is in its final stages in some form or other, I guess, as we talked about in the last news vid. And it's great to see that even now, six, seven years later, where are we now? People are still discussing it that much in depth that it was a trending topic again. It's great to see so many players out there still loving Ark for what it is. Nakatus, you know him. I've talked about him quite a lot in recent times. Of course, the developer of the order, which we're going to see being an official map in the coming months, put out a tweet recently alluding to, well, nothing really, just Nakatus having a little play with a previous map that he himself worked on that became an official map, and that was Valguero, and just gave you a little polish with the grass greenery foliage. To give it a bit of an uplift because it's been some years since we had that map drop to us and since then assets have changed they have improved terrain looks feel foliage it's all got a bit better in the recent times of arc and nakatas took it upon himself to use those new assets that we've got and put them into an old map making us wonder would we ever see this? No, it's never going to happen. You will never see Valguero or any previous map as much as I would love to see them do this, get an uplift, a graphical uplift. The reason being is the devs don't need to. You're still playing them. Giving them just a bit of a lick isn't going to bring you back to them. I don't think it really will personally, but it's cool to see new takes on maps we've already got. For instance, the cart has also reshaped parts of Genesis part two to be icy, icy cold places that you've got to wonder why didn't we ever get anything like this when Genesis part two came out? It's really surprising considering some of these hills, mountains are very tall, very peaky that you think that have done it. And I get it. No, we are on a ship. Why on earth would anyone 
who's building a life vessel of sorts think, I know, let's do a freezing cold area where nobody can survive. So yeah, it fits the narrative, but you've got to wonder if the devs had just kind of split up those two sections, Rockwell's Garden and Eden, into more different varied temperature affected areas. May it have been a more worthy exploration. It's no secret that Genesis Part 2 just isn't a great map to travel around and explore, especially when you've got a tech suit and you can just zip around, fly around. There's no reason to explore. Would this have helped it just a little bit to help keep players on the map looking, wondering why everything is a bit different? Maybe not. Whilst there are some great additions that came with that map and certainly a great send off, I do really truly think it was. Yeah, just, the lack of caves personally certainly lost it something that it really did need to be a map that players wanted to continue to play on and explore and enjoy. Which is why I'm guessing Lost Island was received so well and I'm hoping at an even larger scale Fjorda will be received just as well. Speaking of modders and mod maps, we do have a bit of grave news to share with you, but not to worry too much. Alex, Code Go Alex, who created the mod map Titan, which we've covered before, had some sorry news to tell us that sadly, development on the Titan map will be paused for two months. And it was a very difficult decision by Alex to make with other promises, commitments out there in other projects. But you know what? It's two months. Consider how many mod maps out there that have gone into so much development and then just been put on hold and never progressed since then. At least we know it's just two months. Two months really does fly by nowadays, especially as you get older. So it doesn't matter. I look forward to seeing more of this when Alex comes back. I do really do want to get stuck back into Titan when it's perhaps in a closer to finish version and then will offer a grander experience, maybe even for the Monarchs, you never know. But if you haven't checked out Titan yet, it's well worth it with so many new inventive ideas that really do define a new way of playing Ark. It's worth checking out alone. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. Speaking of Monarchy, it's shout out time and this time it is to the monarchy because we, they, us are opening a community server for you to play on if you need a server to play on with the same gentleman PVP rules that we've got going on and it will be in a cluster with our server so we will be going over to that. You can't come over to ours, it's private but I'm sure in doing so there's going to be plenty of community led events including the monarchs. I'm looking forward to getting stuck in with and I'll leave a link to the Discord in the description below if you want to get involved. This is all launching tomorrow. So get in quick, get ready and set. It's go time. It's going to be Last Island if you're wondering. Yes, again, it's PVP, but with very light gentleman PVP rules, which are all in the Discord if you want to learn more about that. And I may see you there. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, ah, peace out. Thank you.